What's going on, guys? SMS show, and we're back. It's been a while. Back. Not quite on track, but we are back. And I got a special guest, my good friend Dave from New York. What's up, Dave? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? How you been? Woo! It's been uh, it's been quite the ride, my friend. And uh, I just you know being back here specifically in NorCal, it's it's a different world from being here to being in SoCal to being in the East Coast, like even even Mexico, like every. It's just been a wild ride, dude. And I know I know that technically this wild ride has been even wilder for you because your channel was shut down, right? Yeah, man. As you guys know, the channel got shut down back in like February. So yeah. YouTube has been doing this whole crackdown on censorship. And so, you know, we've got 400 videos on the channel. You've been featured on, on a lot of the videos. Yeah. And I try to keep the content, you know, not necessarily friendly friendly, but uh, PG-13. Well, yeah, you know, the channel I... channel got shut down. Well, yeah, so... I remember when we had a conversation, the channel got, you were getting warnings mm -hmm. about the content. And the content had already been developed. This is stuff that you had already filmed years ago. Right. Maybe like a year, two years plus, right? And then recently, you've gotten, you know, like, oh, like, this, is, this has been demonetized. This isn't, you know, this isn't allowed. You're getting a content strike for this. You're getting a content strike for that. Right. And then out of nowhere, and correct me if I'm wrong, you got, the, you got slapped down and all of a sudden they just took your channel down. Yeah, and that was a huge blow to me. That was, you know, because I, I enjoy making the videos, right? And in the past, I've been doing YouTube for like over five years. In the past, they would like flag that video, right? Yeah. And yeah. Or they would take that video down. But I guess I got so many community strikes or because there's 400 videos that they ended up taking the whole channel down, which I think was completely unfair. Not only did they take the channel down, but when they take a channel down, just so everybody understands... I mean, we actually met doing video. Like, I've been doing YouTube videos since, like, 2006, 2007. So... He was doing and, YouTube videos out the world. Yeah, but way before right they were called the uh, influencers, you know? I was doing... In fact, I used to... And we'll talk about this later, but, like, I used to do... Before YouTube, I used to do videos for the gaming industry, for my gaming company, and it was on VCD, video thing called Video CDs. Mm -hmm. So we used to like make these video CDs and we used to put it in with purchases. Mm -hmm. And I thought YouTube was cool. Uh, I was just like, oh shit, I could put this online, it'd be easier, you know, like this is instant syndication. And back then, even that days, you know, I, there was a lot that you can get away with. Like it was the wild west when I started doing it. And YouTube was new. <clears throat> YouTube was new. Right? Yeah. And then in 2007, 2008, you know, there's a, a few, like, the copyright thing started to kick in, right? So it was the copyright issues. Now, oh, you're using copyrighted music. Oh, you got, you know, you got episodes of Family Guy. You're stealing somebody's video. You, you, you're putting stuff up. So YouTube, you know, YouTube was acquired by Google, I think, around that era, around mm -hmm. 2008, 2009, right? Something like that, yeah. And it was like three or four years then. They paid some billions of dollars for it. And then all of a sudden it was like police time. And, you know, I can understand copyright infringement and, and rights, but, but this whole thing was created of, like, now we're the judge, jury, and executioner of your content. Mm -hmm. So basically, even if you had followed perceptionally their guidelines, right, for, for a trademark, now it's just like, oh, well, maybe this stuff is too violent. Maybe this stuff is, is not family friendly. In fact, just recently, I don't know if you've noticed it or not, when you go in your account, there's actually a thing that you have to check. It says, this content is not child safe and kid friendly. Hmm. I don't know if you logged in. I mean, I know you just got this back and we just started making content again. Yeah. But if you look at the information in the back end, you'll see it says, check this box that this is not uh, uh, kid friendly. And that was something that, dude, even some of the video game guys, the guys who are doing walkthroughs and, and let's plays and shit like that, a lot of stuff isn't kid friendly. If they're dropping f bombs and they're screaming and sh you know controllers are flying across the room and shit's just going haywire because that's the gig. That's kind of how they're like they're, they're presenting it in the world. Then realistically, it's not kid friendly anymore. Right. So imagine them getting flagged. Now they're not ab abiding by community guidelines. So the guidelines from when we first started doing videos to now has become this homogenized fucking watered down bullshit that if, <laughs> if if YouTube doesn't approve of in some way, shape, or form, well, guess what? Sorry, P. 
paste, and now all your content gets flushed down the toilet. And that has to kind of do with what's going on in like 2020, this whole cancel culture idea, right? You do something that's not, you know, acceptable, and you just get canceled, which I think is a little unfair, right? But it, it, it raises like a, like a little debate, because I think you, you've got kids, right? Yes. And there's something you kind of also have to look out for, because YouTube is a public platform, and people can load it, load whatever they want. And so they do have to have some type of censorship standards, because you can't have like people in Iraq just chopping heads off and then just put it on YouTube and not have anybody say anything about it, right? Of course. And I get it. And I get, I get it. that. But I think they should continue to do things like shut that video down and not be shutting whole Or maybe not even down, shut you know the video mean? down, but like, okay, you know what? That's reality. That's getting out into the public. I remember, actually, it's funny that you say that because back in like 2000, oh, this might have been before YouTube or maybe just at the start, but maybe 2004, 2005, right? Where there was that during the war, after the war, um, they had that, that beheading on, online. That, that was video crazy. was available that was crazy. to see. And, and, you know, that's still, listen, you put the warning up, be, do this, do that. But by you saying you can't do this anymore, you can't find this, you know, Google has a lot of control. You know, everybody doesn't really understand, and and I talk about this, guys. Just again, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you, you know if it's all right with you. I'll make a shout out about my channel real quick. Yeah, what you do guys you can course, learn. You can learn about <laughs> this stuff, and I'll talk about more about what the dark net really is, or the gray net, and how Google and just a lot of what you know the normal search engines is control everything. So if you go to Google to look for everything. And you go to Yahoo to look for everything, and then you type it in, and they don't find it. You don't think this shit exists. So if it's not on their platforms, it's not on what you access every day. Then how do you get that? How do you access that information that maybe every Tom, Dick, and Harry doesn't want to actually watch, or they're like not in their little fluffy world? So like, if you follow me on my channel, if you go to youtubecom forward slash David Scarpetta, you can just type in David Scarpetta my name. He'll have it there. And uh, I talk about entrepreneurship. I talk about business, and I talk about the shit that like these guys weren't going to tell you. And a lot of the times, you know, don't get it twisted. Like they can, a lot of the, these bigger platforms, they you're on their platform. If they don't like some shit that you're doing, they don't they don't have to answer to you. It's mm -hmm. their platform. They could say, oh well, you know, today we don't like girls who you know who have pink hair and like you know the, that have triple D's that are spilling out of the tops. Yeah. We don't like that. Okay. You know, I mean, there's actually, I think there's a, a YouTuber I used to follow her back in the day. I met her once, Minxy. And she's a Japanese chick. And she's really like, you know, she's, she does the whole Japanese anime culture, but she's like stacked. And she like, that she always <laughs> wears, she always specifically only wears clothing that you could just, everything is like hanging out. And, you know, it's like, hey, I'm a Japanese anime character. And she tells you a Japanese word of the day, kind of like when you did back in the day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, but it's really, you know, it's informative, but it's obviously maybe something that she was doing before that's not cool now. Mm -hmm. You know, so like it's it's they the judge, jury, and executioner. So even if they you go on their platform and it's not right that you get canceled, the bottom line is that you're saying I by uploading your shit to their content to their network, you're saying, hey, guess what? We you own the rights. You have you could do whatever you want. We could shut us down. You don't feel like you know your terms of service. People don't even read that shit. Nobody reads it. Nobody, Nobody reads that shit. It. It's like Nobody twenty reads. pages long. You probably need a law degree to read it. And and honestly, for what it's worth, yeah. I mean, people just say yes. I want to be on YouTube. Yes, I want to do this. And the worst part about it for you, which not even as a content creator, uh, you know, as a business person for myself and a content creator for him, I don't feel like it's even right. They wouldn't even be able to access your channel to even download the content you have. That's messed up. Yeah. See, that, that's what, what one thing I kind of battled with and I had a huge problem with because I put all this time and money and effort into building my channel and building the subscribers, building the views, and then once being just shut down and not having any type of communication with YouTube um, was, was tough because, you know, as content producers, we, you know, we put our blood, sweat, and tears into this kind of production and just to not, not even be able to get the videos and be able to download, like you said, was uh yeah you lost you like hey man the worst part about it, i remember you telling me like dude i can't believe it took my channel down and i was just like well you know you had a lot of like risque stuff you know 
it kind of borderline. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it wasn't obviously pornography, but it was sexual. There was some sexual connotations to a lot of stuff, and that's fine, and that's what you want to do, and that's your platform. But they basically said, "Hey, we don't want that on the platform anymore. Have a nice day." And instead of just taking that stuff down, they decided to take everything down. Mm -hmm. And and then when you go ahead and you email them, right? And this has happened to me before. Believe me, I've been through the mill. So you guys, like I said, if you if you join my channel, you see all the shit I've dealt with. You. You basically are talking to some fucking monkey in another country and like, yes, oh, no, you haven't done it right. Okay, what does that, that script say? Oh, okay, no, he's got three strikes. Like, they don't have any independent thought process. Yeah. So the whole process of you actually even being like, hey, you know, I don't think I, I did a bad thing. Can you tell me? They just fucking reply to you with like some, some te like boilerplate shit and you have no idea, like, what did I do wrong, right? You tell me, what did I do wrong? Yeah. What did I do wrong? Well, actually, I ended up getting the channel back, finally. I filed an appeal. How many times? I filed like six appeals. And I, you know, I almost felt like giving up, but there was something in the back of my mind that was like, I cannot give up. I, there's gotta be a way. You know, even if it's against the big man of Google, YouTube. Even yeah. if they, they don't even respond to you. I just, somehow I knew there was a way to get my channel back. And I was determined. So I started watching. YouTube videos. On how to get your channel back. On how to get your YouTube channel back. And there's all kinds of content, just type it in. So I started watching and people were telling me, file the appeal. And at first I was really angry and I, you know, I let my motion get into things. And I started typing away, hey, how could you do this? I got this, this, that. Like, they don't care. No, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. But I can tell you, one of the ways I got it back is I kept looking at different responses on YouTube on how to get the channel back. And there's a lot of bots out there, a lot of people trying to sell you on stuff on how to get it back like pay me 300 bucks and I'll get your channel back and I almost went that route but I didn't what I ended up doing was sending a tailored response being apologetic and stating that I understand the guidelines that I want to be a better I understand producer. I understand your guidelines that that your guidelines change at any time <laughs> that's your guideline <laughs> I sent them a tailored response and um, I sent, you know, my link and uh, I sent it off and I got a response saying that we reviewed your content and it doesn't fall under violation of our guidelines per se. We are reinstating your channel. And this took six months. See, that's what I'm talking about. And months. see what I'm talking about, Six Tom? months of no channel. I lost 50,000 subscribers overnight. But then I got it back and I, you know, I got it back with like 42,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for sticking with SMS. We appreciate you. Sticking with it. And that's really the name of the game here. Is, and I think, you know, you know that how I, how I talk about that in regards to business and just doing shit in general is like just sticking with it. And everybody wants immediate gratification. And again, I mean, listen, I think I even talked to you about like getting a lawyer, right? About talking about a lawyer and stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually have... Uh, on my channel have actually talked with with YouTube lawyers mm -hmm. so there is some really good information there we could talk about it another time but ultimately we just wanted to kind of let you guys know that you know SMS is back um, I'm still here <laughs> <laughs> just in case you haven't seen me in a while um, doing and, his thing make sure you check out his channel you learn a little something I learn something from Dave every time we link up man I learn something from you every that's time that's right man living is learning learning is living um, and ultimately uh, yeah I mean it's just it's just a dirty game, but you gotta learn to play by the rules. I mean, until you can make your own rules, and right. that's really kind of how it is. And and um, yeah, and it's not impossible. And, and I, you know, it sounds crazy, but you know, I have a, I'm always doing stuff in in the digital development world. So I, you know, be surprised coming down the pipe that you might not have to go to YouTube eventually anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. you'd be surprised because, like, you know, you talked about cancel culture, and that's a thing. Like, you know, if somebody doesn't like what you're saying or something goes against the thought process, if it's not being, you know, malicious, uh, you know, it's up for debate. There's a perception of it in any way, shape, or form. Like, what people might think you're insulting them. You know, like, you, like, like I have a t shirt. Oh, man, that's offending. Oh, I'm sorry you're offended by that. 
That's your perception, right? It may not be offending to 20 other people, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden it's offensive to you. So the, these, these, these networks are on such edge because they don't want to get sued. They don't want to lose millions of, of, of users to another platform because they're making money on advertising. So you got to remember a lot of the stuff that rides on the rails now for them versus what it was when I first started and when you first started. Mm -hmm. Even when you first started, like the whole like ecosystem was totally different. Oh yeah, and it, it just it kind of sucks, but you know I'm glad I ultimately got it back. I will give you a word of advice: is I would say back your shit up. That's right. I gotta get some better hard drives. Get some better <laughs> hard drives. Go to the cloud or go to whatever and back your shit up. Back download these little things. Says download MP4 and just download all your stuff. Back up your YouTube files. Back up your stuff, man. Because if you work really hard for this, a lot of people don't make money doing this. We, you know, I know he doesn't really make, you don't make a kill in doing this, right? This is like a labor of love most of the times. And for a lot of people, until you get to a certain level, it, yeah, it doesn't really, it's not really a business. And, that, and that's just a whack part about it for me is I notice a lot of the times, like all these youngsters that come out, young youngins who are jumping on the platform, right? They're like, yeah, I'm going to make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just go get a YouTube channel, go do this. Yo, that it's is. not that easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> and do, you're not. Yeah, 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 but you know what? It's not what you think it is. If that's your idea it's just almost as, it's youtube this is this digital like space this is the new hollywood so think about you coming down hollywood i live in la right most of the time so you go down hollywood you go over there and be like oh i want to be an actor i want to be a famous actor see how many fucking famous actors there are on the boulevard you're gonna be standing next to that don king cat from the other video you have <laughs> and that broken down spider-man yeah you know what i'm saying like like that needs a new costume because those are, everybody thinks they're just going to be famous. It doesn't. You're not providing any value for anybody. If you're not providing any value, what makes you think that you're going to just be like, oh, I'm just going to pop on here. I'm existing. Hey, cool. You know, it just doesn't work like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but, but anyway, all the other uh, you know YouTube developers out there and people watching, continue to fight the good fight. You know? Yeah, it's man. It's good. It's good to have content. It is good. It's good to be able to like be you too. You know. That's a problem a lot of times. A lot of people trying to yeah. be something else. Yeah, 2020 is a weird year. It is very weird. I think we're going to take a quick break, but make sure you watch the, uh, the next video. So we're going to talk about quarantine real quick. You ready? Quarantine. We'll take, take a quick commercial break. We're going to talk about quarantine. Commercial breaks.